Dragon Ball Z The Breakers. The only thing this game is gonna be breaking is my hopes and dreams for an actual good Dragon Ball game to come out pretty soon. The only thing that's gonna be breaking is my fist into whoever's jaw greenlit this dumb behind project. Some call me Raven, the dark talon of death. All right, so first off, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer. This video is not going to be for the faint of heart. If you wanna hear me say, oh my God, Dragon Ball The Breakers, such a fun game, I love it. Then go watch, you know, go watch Burkle, go watch uh, all these other YouTubers, go watch Rhyme Style, go watch Dato Doya, go watch these nice guys. What's up guys, it's Super Saiyan Mickey. Back with a, I'm not that guy, okay? I'm not gonna try to be the nice guy. I'm very angry and I'm gonna express it with this video. So, viewer discretion is advised. Dragon Ball Z The Breakers, right? First off, what an interesting title for such a lukewarm and lackluster game. All right, all right, look, 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 listen! Let's, let's have a talk. So we're all Dragon Ball fans here, right? We all love Dragon Ball Z. Let's ask ourselves a question. Why is it that we watch and play Dragon Ball Z games? Why is it that we love Dragon Ball? You know, we have our favorite characters, the strongest warriors in the universe. We have Goku, uh, Vegeta, Broly, Jiren, and uh, Monaka. We watched them get strong and fight through adversity, power up to unseeable levels of strength. They yell, they scream. You get this insane testosterone boost if you're a man or a woman, I don't know. And you just feel powerful when you watch Dragon Ball. You wanna go outside, you wanna go punch something. You wanna go work out, you feel good. We are expecting to be this. We're expecting to be these strong warriors, but instead of being this, we're gonna be this. We're gonna be the big We're gonna be the scared civilians running away from danger. I'm sorry guys, that's not why I watch or play Dragon Ball games. I'm not trying to be this guy. I'm trying to be this guy. I'm trying to yell. I'm trying to punch somebody's face in. I'm not trying to run away from Cell. I'm not trying to run away from Frieza. I'm trying to punch their goddamn face into the dirt. Now, I wanna make this perfectly clear. There's nothing wrong with trying new ideas. Here's the thing though. Don't try new things when we're asking for a specific thing to come out. We were asking for Dragon Ball Xenoverse Three. We had a whole Twitter movement which went absolutely nowhere. It went nowhere. And instead, we get Dragon Ball Z The Breakers the following week or day. Do you understand how much of a slap in the face that is? The point is, this game is not what we wanted. At this point, I feel like you guys will just eat up anything that comes your way because you're so starved. You eat anything. You play anything that says Dragon Ball on it. You do anything for it. I don't give a damn if it's Dragon Ball Z The Breakers. I don't give a damn if it's Dragon Ball Z The Go Kart Kart Racing game. It could be Dragon Ball Z Golf, Dragon Ball Z Swimming, Dragon Ball Z Fishing, baby. I'm playing it because I need that ad revenue. So here we have a product. Instead of being a powerful Saiyan, you're a civilian. You're a scared civilian running away from the same characters that you've been beating their asses in previous games. Instead of playing Goku, I'm playing Oolong. Like, this is just completely whack to me. This is not what we wanted. We wanted Xenoverse 3. Imagine having a product that you want and you know you want and you've been telling them that you want it and then they just say uh well never mind uh dragon ball z the breakers right and what makes it worse is the fact that they're reusing assets from xenoverse to make this game apparently this takes place in the xenoverse universe like what i don't i don't know i really don't care it's stupid instead of giving us a new xenoverse new races they're gonna give us dragon ball z the breakers right i'm sorry this game is completely lame i'm not on board for this game i've been wanting to talk my shit on this game for a long time now at first i was kind of indifferent towards it i felt like okay maybe it'll be fun i'll give it a chance but i sat down and thought about it and i really let it sink in that we're getting a dragon ball z game where we're playing as the scared bitch ass that are running away from characters and I just hate it. That's not cool. And this game better not cost 60 bucks, I'll tell you that. Guys, this game is not pushing no weight. Ain't nobody checking and peeping for some Dragon Ball Z The Breakers, right? If you are, pardon me, you know, I'm not here to tell you what to play. I'm not here to tell you what to buy. Now, cool, this game might be fun the first week or the first month with some friends. You know, you guys come over, get some beers, get some food, get in your online Discord chat, and you know, play some fun Dragon Ball Z The Breakers. Have a good time. Get some laughs in, get some funny clips, maybe stream it on Twitch. Have a good time with your viewer base, cool. But after about a month, 
This game is going goodbye. I might buy this game to play with some friends for a Twitch stream or something or a YouTube streamer for fun. This game better cost no more than 40 bucks. Even that's a stretch, okay? This game is a complete one copy and paste of Dead by Daylight. Not even an original idea. Like, why would you have a Dragon Ball Z survival horror? It's so weird. We play Dragon Ball Z games to be in control, to be powerful, to fight. I don't wanna run. I don't wanna survive survive in Dragon Ball Z? Are you serious? What are you talking about? I watch Dragon Ball as an escape. I don't want to be a bitch. Two, this game is reusing assets from a previous game, so it's already looking like it's getting like a nickel and dime for its budget, some lint and toilet paper for the budget. It looks cheap. They're reusing assets from Xenoverse, which already tells me this is gonna be a quick little cash grab. They're gonna throw it out the door. They're gonna get their money. They're gonna bounce. It's not original, and it's not even built properly. And three, it doesn't make no goddamn sense because who the fuck would play a Dragon Ball Z game to run away from selling? and Frieza. Just go play Dead by Daylight or Jason Voorhees. Those games are built with zombies and yeah, you got Jason. Or go play Aliens vs. Predators or these kind of games where it's built for survival or Resident Evil. Who turns on Dragon Ball looking for survival horror? Like, how do you even mix those genres together? Like, I, I just... I, 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 uh, like, I mean, I get it. It's gonna be a goofy game. It's, it might be fun. It might be cute. It might be a good laugh with your buddies. Fine, but the fact that we now have to wait another year or two for the next Xenoverse or whatever is supposed to be coming out and we have this game to hold us over is fucking annoying and stupid and I hate it. This game is breaking my expectations into little tiny pieces because it fucking sucks. This game is breaking my hopes and dreams of getting a Xenoverse 3. I'm gonna break someone's fucking face and teeth whoever greenlit this project. <laughs> All right, so um, that's gonna go ahead and end the video right there. Um, I first off wanna say that a lot of the stuff I said in this video, don't take it too extremely seriously. Um, most of it is just for comedy, just to make the video fun to watch for you guys. Now, I do think this game is complete garbage. Do not be mistaken. But like, I'm not taking it that seriously. At the end of the day, it's just a game. It's just a Dragon Ball game. I'm not losing sleep over it. I'm not having an aneurysm. Um, but I am kind of upset, and I think this game is extremely whack. You know, and the fact that we have to wait another year, most likely, until we hear something else, um, I'm just very disappointed with. It. Like I really didn't peep for this game. I didn't want this game. I'm not playing Dragon Ball to play survival horror. I mean, I got Resident Evil. I got all these other games that I can rather go to. I just feel like this was kind of a waste of a, um, of a year for Dragon Ball. This game is whack. It's cheap. It looks corny. It looks kookily. It looks like a cute game for your 10 year old sister and brother to play on a Nintendo Switch. And it's a f waste of time. It's a waste of another year for what could have been Xenoverse 3. The game that I want, the game that we really want. And with that, that's gonna end the video. That was my rant. If you got something to say, if you feel some type of way, comment down below, dislike the video. I don't care, we're here to make enemies. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm not here to be your corner store Dragon Ball YouTuber. I'm not here to be Super Saiyan Mike. I'm not here to be Super Saiyan Tabby or Super Saiyan Beck. I'm here to talk shit and I'm here to set the record straight. So if you don't like it, then get the fuck off the channel. This game sucks and if it costs more than 40 bucks, which is honestly a stretch, even with that price, I ain't supporting it. Goodbye.